Hey, what's up, guys? Um, uh, I'm gonna try to shoot this video quick because there's like a few tornadoes here, like 50 miles away. So you tell me. Damn it! Oh, please don't make it to here. Who wants to fly some multi riders, guys? Uh, and my power's already gone off a few few times. This is the fourth time I've shot this video. But I wanted to do a channel update to let you know um, where I've been, as well as what videos are to come in the near future. I've been posting that much because I've just been super busy. And I know I say this every time, but it's been worse than usual. Like, I haven't been able to post on this channel, the other channel. Haven't been able to fly with the local guys that live here. I haven't done anything but schoolwork. My school is trying to mentally murder me right now. But thankfully, I only have 20 more days left this semester, and after that, that's going to free up some more time for this channel as well as my other channel. Uh, the only reason I'm posting a video today is because class was canceled because of the weather, and that's why you're getting a video today. But otherwise, you wouldn't. Um, I'm also going to take this time to edit a video that I shot the other day for the other channel, and uh, you guys should be seeing that pretty soon on the other channel. I'm sure a lot of you are ready for me to stop with the TransQX7 video series and move on to something else. I am completely with you on that one. I am totally burnt out on the QX7 video series just like I was on the X9D series whenever I finished that one. Um, so I hear you. Some guys really appreciate that video series and in that case, thank you. Um, but I am ready to move on though. <laughs> Speaking of moving on, the next video series is going to be the Betaflight F3 flight controller videos. I'm going to give you my review as well as, you know, how-to videos, setup videos, answer your questions, you know, like I normally do. The Omnibus has been my favorite flight controller going on in six months, which is like a new record. Uh, and as far as the flight controllers that have the OSDs built in, they're capable with Betaflight's OSD, which is my personal favorite OSD, the best I've ever used. And that's just my opinion, but it is. This is the other flight controller that is compatible with it. So that gives you two of them. Now there's a third, the, well, three that I know of. Um, DYS is releasing a DYS F4 flight controller. It's on pre-order right now. I'm gonna try to get my hands on it because out of the three flight controllers, I think that one's gonna be my favorite. It is tax season, got my taxes back. I ordered a 3D printer finally. As it's something I've always wanted. Some of you guys have met Ray from my other channel. I had to come over here, I didn't know why, but I had to bring my quads with me. If you build it, they will come. Crazy guy. And yeah, it's the same Ray that fries everything. The guy you can thank for the uh, repair series of videos on this channel, because 80% of the things that are fried on in those videos are from him. But he is really good at 3D printing. He owns like seven different 3D printers, some kind of CNC machine, some kind of router machine, a laser doodad, I don't know. But that's his actual job, like that's his profession. So he came over here, we shot a video of the complete setup of this 3D printer. That video will be showing up on his channel pretty soon. So I'm gonna leave you a link to his channel in the description if you are interested in watching it. He's also gonna give you his professional review and I will give you my review on this channel. So this way you can get two different opinions, uh, a review from a professional and a review from someone who has never 3D printed in their life. But more importantly, I am finally designing a GoPro session mount for the Hellbender 204 frame, which is this guy, if you've never seen it before. I have three of these, but no HD camera mounts. None that I like, at least. But we will have one pretty soon. I have also made this GoPro session mount for a frame you have not seen on this channel yet. Speaking of, it's almost here. Half the parts are here, half the parts are still in the mail, but I estimate they're a week away. And if you haven't heard me talk about this before, um, I've done build videos on this channel before, but I've never done uh, this. It's going to be like, how does JC completely set up a multi -reader. I'm going to show you how I build it and show you everything that I do. I'm not going to leave anything out. Everything I do in Betaflight, everything I do in Bill Heli Suite, 
uh, PID tuning, setting up the transmitter, everything. Custom motor mixing, like it's gonna be everything in one. Basically my entire Betaflight playlist is gonna be in these probably four or five videos. And I call it a budget build because I did pick, pick cheap parts from Banggood. Um, as I said before, I, I chose Banggood because 45% of the viewers are here in the States. 55% are in the rest of the world. And shipping from the US is like one third of the total price of the parts they're buying. Probably even more than that because it's just crazy. So those of us in the United States, we get free shipping from Banggood. I don't know how much it costs those guys, but I know it's a lot cheaper. So I, I, I many guys have brought it to my attention that they don't like that I am supporting Banggood instead of an official, authentic, reputable company, uh, which I do. I mean, I, I pretty much say Ready Made RC, and I buy 90% of my products from Ready Made RC in every video. So don't think I'm promoting Banggood. Uh, this is just for educational purposes, and I wanted everyone to be included. I didn't want to just say F you to 55% of my channel. So if you do have a problem with that, um, well, I'm actually going to make a complete video talking about Banggood versus reputable companies. Uh, there's pros and cons on both sides. So I would highly recommend watching that video before uh, you think negatively of Banggood. Anyway, if you want to get a head start on it and you want to use the same exact parts that I'm using, I'm going to leave you a list of the parts that I'm using in the description so uh, you can see exactly what we will be using in this video series. And you can purchase the same parts if you want, you can swap it up, um, or what you can do is just wait because uh, another video I'm going to make before this video series is talking about why I selected each part because I spent hours and hours and days and days hand selecting each part and weighing the pros and cons and just weighing everything in general. So I have a really good reason for each and every part. Uh, but like I said, all of these videos will be coming up within, I'd say the next week, week and a half, hopefully. Moving on, I do have two fried ESCs, so we will have some ESC repairs for the repair series of videos and there's actually something different that's wrong with both of the ESCs so you will actually get two different repairs. And that's going to do it guys so let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.